Hi guys, Mike here from Clearview again. What I'm going to tell you about today is our new Powerfold 70 series mirrors. We've completely redesigned the base, not just for the Powerfold, but also for the look on the door. Now, as you can see, they scallop in around the sides. We've made new rubbers. We've made these holes here uh, longer so that there's more adjustment. We've still got the rotary cups in there so that if the holes are slightly off on the Toyota door, you can still pick them up sideways. And we've lifted these holes higher because in recent years, the holes here going onto the door, Toyota's holes have been up higher and higher and higher up the door. And eventually they wouldn't allow these our, our bases to sit down properly. Now you'll find that the fit on the door is, is, is perfect and we've made new rubbers and everything up. Our rubbers we've changed and the base here we've changed also and on the 76 series where they have the badge running through the door we've actually made a drop-in piece of rubber that that will locate properly into the bottom of the base so you don't have to do a breakaway on the base like the old ones. That just sits in there. If you've got a 79 series, you can just put all that back in, put the rubber back in over the top of it. And it just fits like a glove on the door. So on the left hand side power fold, you'll find that you've got a gray sheath. On the driver's side, mirror you're going to find that you've got a black sheath the reason being there's a polarity change in the gray wire from the right side so you have to have the gray wire on the left hand side not the right hand side you'll end up with your mirrors going all over the place so all that does is it changes the polarity on the motor in here because it runs the same direction on the left side as it does on the right this polarity change here makes it run in reverse so that everything works together correctly. You must have these brain boxes or circuit breakers or whatever you want to call them plugged in. You'll find that there's a plug with four wires in it and there's another one with two which goes back to your switch. Make sure you put these in and you get them on the right way around and make sure that it's all the way home. Otherwise your power file won't work. Once you've got that in, that runs back to your switch and your button and everything. And Bob's your uncle. Away it goes. So you'll find when you're wiring this up, you need to mark some holes on the door, which is what we've done on this cruiser over here. And then fit your rubber and everything into place. And, and what we like to do here is this joiner here for the grey sheath and the black sheath is just hide that back in the low spot inside the door here so when you put your rubber on it's not it's not caught up across the mounting point and shear the wire off so when you put this back on here that'll be in there you've got a ton of wire here which will come out the door we're still using the stainless steel plates with the double-sided tape for the bottom of the door. If you've got a 79 series and they had that triangular original Toyota um, mirror bracket on the door, you should be able to use the original nutserts that are in the bottom of the door now with these new bases. So you'll get a kit with two of those in them. They're the rubbers that fit into the base. Make sure you put them on. Inside the kit itself, you'll find you've got eight new bolts. We use the long bolts because it makes it easier to get a start on them. They don't interfere with anything inside the car. You should get two sealing rubbers like that. And these are the same rotary cups that we used on the other ones. And as you can see, if you mount that inside the door and the holes are slightly to the side, you'll be able to pick up that by rotating it and, and it will find its own position as you're doing it up. We've also replaced 
the rubbers in the, in the in the kit here for up there and these are marked on the inside with right and left marked in there so make sure you get them on the right side of the mirror or the left side of the mirror it doesn't mean that they go in the right hand side mirror on the car right you've got right and left it means the position of right and left on this base the bottom ones you'll notice are bigger we've actually gone away from the round ones and we've elongated the holes as you can see here with a lot more movement and position to be able to um, pick up those holes on these holes as well these ones we've put re, um, return catches on them so that all you need to do is just push them in and they'll just clip in okay what we're going to do here is we're going to put a hole through the door right for you to run your wiring so what you need to do is put a bit of tape on like this run a center line through your holes approximately right find the center between the two holes and put a line up there then measure up from the center here up roughly about 10 mil and then you can use a step drill to go through the door panel right and we're saying roughly a 12 mil hole to take the rubber grommet that goes around your wiring that way it doesn't get cut on your door skin on the way through so go and do that and um, when you come back we're going to fit it on the door and uh, I'm just trying to make this fast and efficient for you guys that are watching okay what we're going to do now is we're going to fit this mirror onto this side so you need to push this plug through first we've already got our rubber set up on there and we've put a little bit of lube on it bit of CRC or WD-40 or something so push that through there feed the other wires through here as well right push them downwards right and as Graham said to me this stuff is slippery as so we're going to try and fit this rubber into here make sure you put the wires through it first because you won't get the plug through otherwise unless unless you're really good at what you're doing and just got to be try and get that into there fit the rubber boot in there all right okay so once you get that through like that you feed your wires down and now what we'll do is we'll pick up all the bits that fell out put that back into there put the rubber on on there and then get somebody to pull the wires through the other side of the door for you as you're feeding this up uh, put the bolt in there slide it down beautiful line up the hole and then just get a start on it once you get a start on it then you it makes it a okay so one of the first things you'll probably notice here is now this is this is the new base and you can see the position of the holes now you've got a lot of movement if Toyota put the holes up and down because they are all over the place sometimes they're slightly off to one side and that's why we give you the rotary cup to go in here with a slotted hole if it's got to go sideways like that in there so be it and it will pick its own position up so what you need to do is just put your two top ones in right make sure you fit on the door and everything down here is all aligned correctly and you'll see that it fits like a glove if it's in the right spot and then you can just put these rotary cups into here get a start on them and then once once you've got all that 
then you can go around you can start to nip them up so I did have a screwdriver around here somewhere if I can find it I think one of the boys have stolen it on me so I'll zip these up Now, I like to do the to, to tighten up the two bottom holes first because these are on a bit of an angle. It can it can make it pull it up. Right? Once you've done the bottom holes, right, just nip your top ones up, and then you can go over them with a quarter drive, ten mil socket, and just take them up evenly. Um, once you've done that, then we'll put the cups in. Okay, <clears throat> now we've, do we've done up all our bolts. We're gonna put these cups in. Like I said earlier, this has got a left on it, and that one's got a right. When you put it in, you'll see like a little bit of a, a lip that runs away here, and that's supposed to be down here in this corner. When you put them in, you see they've, they've got these little locators on each side, right? Put one end in first, right? And then just push the other one in and, and they go in like that. They should stay in all right. So now we'll go and do the bottom one. Push the tab down. Beautiful. Okay, now what we're doing is we're, we're wiring the power fold mirror here with the wires that come out of it. We've got our, our little brain box here. We, uh, we went to J-Car and we grabbed some of these clips here. You put a cable tie through them and then you double side, them, uh, double side tape on them. And what we do is we're gonna come around the window track, make sure that you don't put it through the window track because as soon as you put the window down, you're gonna pull all your wiring out. So we're going to mount this right there on that blank bit of panel on the inside by removing the backing off this double-sided tape. And basically, it will sit in there. It's out of the way of everything. And you've got access to the wires down the bottom here, which is, this is from your switch. So once you plug that in, right, you're good to go. And then all the excess wire from this, and this is this are actually has to be plugged in on the inside of the door. So we've got some excess cable down here because the switch was moved into the middle of the car. So we're just gonna fold all up the excess wire. You can shorten it if you want, solder it back together. Um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fold it up and, and we're gonna cable tie it down in the bottom of the door. So, and then after that, we're gonna connect the three wires for the uh, electric operation of the glass. Okay, what I've done is I've stripped the back off this uh, double-sided tape here, and I'm gonna put it right here in the back of the mirror, um, in the back of the door, I mean. I sit it up in there, make sure you can get onto a flat bit of panel. Pull it in there, beautiful. It should stay there, right? And then the rest of the wires, I'm gonna fold up and put them into the bottom of the door and I'm going to cable down cable tie them down to there's a, a loom run along the bottom of the door it seems to go nowhere I don't know why Toyota would do that but that's what they've done um, and uh, I'm going to cable tie these two wires here together and uh, and then just hook that up and we're good to go